I'm a Yankees guy, but I'm not a Mets hitter. I, I love the Mets, root for the Mets, and it's going to be exciting next year, that's for sure, because it's anybody's city. With childhood dreams of becoming one of the great ones, Steve Latino Covino may not have made it to the big leagues, but he has certainly made himself heard as one of the leading voices in New York City sports. Will New York be Matt Harvey's town or Jacob DeGrom's town? Easy one. Harvey all day, all day, every day. Really? Without a doubt, guy's a rock star. I was an athlete, or I thought I was an athlete. I played sports growing up like any other kid. I was, you know, hoping and wanting to be on the Yankees someday. So I went to school to play baseball, really. And I figured, you know what? I knew I wasn't gonna make it in the big leagues. I was being real with myself at the time. Then I found out there was a radio station there, and that was it for me. <laughs> Our show is women, sports, entertainment, comedy. Whatever guys are talking about, that's what we talk about. When we first signed on to do talk radio, Cavino and Rich, we were sponsored by Maxim. It was Maxim Radio with Cavino and Rich. And that was just the craziest roller coaster ever. You show your butt in this movie. I believe our producer Spot said he saw it, and there's some question he of whether it. or not it's yours. Is this your butt or not? And how does, how does El Puma feel about you know his baby girl's butt on the big screen? <laughs> Let me go over Cavino's nicknames. First... He was El Cavino. He thinks he's the LA player by La Playa, the baddest Latin in Manhattan. He's Latino Cavino. He's also called himself the Yolo Cholo. He's the best, man. I'm his favorite gringo, as he calls me, and uh, it's, you know, it's how it works. Cavino and Rich. We love what we do, and we're really friends, so, you know, and we're actually really happy to see her, so Aww. it's, it's yeah, genuine, it's nice. you know? Yeah, it, it is a pleasure to meet you finally, because yeah. we've always wondered. We've always wondered, well, Who's the dude? We the dude. <laughs> There's the dude. When we first started doing our show, we realized that Cavino said dude and bro a lot. Like, a lot. I would start every sentence with dude and end it with bro. Like, dude, hey, that's a nice shirt, bro. And the listeners, our friends, started picking up on that. And they would start calling up the show saying, hey, dude, bro. So they started that and then just on their own started getting together in different parts of the country, meeting each other. And then we started doing an annual event where everyone comes to New York City. And we said, you know what, let's just do it. Let's take ownership of this and let's throw a big party. It's a cool, like, a uh, week of events. We have, like, a booze cruise. We did a softball game this year, comedy night. Just trying to give as much fun to the people that support our show as much as we could. You know Tracy Morgan? He's the guy that's the loop. You'd look at his face in class and he'd make you laugh. You know what I mean? He'd get you in trouble. While bonding with their listeners through events like the Dude Bro Convention and the Cinco de Mayo Guac Off Guacamole Challenge, it was their unique take on football that led them to their own televised sports show. Rich and I, because of our radio show, we get the opportunity to cover the lifestyle aspect of sports, right? So we've gone to a lot of different events. Tim Tebow on the Cavino and Rich show. Do you have Tim Tebow to G's? Do you have that in your iPod? And the Jimmy, the Jimmy, what is it, Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon? Fallon? Do you have that in your iPod? <laughs> we were at a Super Bowl party. Tim Tebow was on fire at this moment and he's on our radio show. And there's a big giant crowd around us and we're having this killer interview with Tim Tebow and little did we know there was someone from the network watching us do this interview. You know, later that week, we got an email from one of the guys here, Brad Como, saying, hey, you know, I liked what you guys did. You guys were coming from a, a different perspective, a younger, fresher perspective, and that's kind of what we're looking for. So yeah, it was a really cool story. You never know who's watching. So to be doing a live TV show every day in New York City in Times Square, it's just amazing. So if people are talking about it and they're comparing us to whoever, then it's the ultimate compliment. And we want to be that show. So we think we are that show. We've been doing this radio thing for 10 years, the TV show now for two years. But we're definitely that next show in line. We're waiting for Howard to retire so we can take over. That's the plan, you know, so. Let's just hope it's the Mets time to shine come next year. All right. Uh, we send it back to Gary Apple, Bobby Ojeda, and Mets first pitch. Covino and...